In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a spy cam in the Overwatch workshop. So first, just to make sure that it all will go as you plan, set a variable to false, so that when you go into the rule for making the camera, it'll know that you don't have one yet. And then is the button held for whichever ability or fire you have it on in this case I did it with Reaper just because it doesn't have a secondary fire so if you're using your secondary fire and if you don't already have a camera go over here set a variable to a raycast hit position starting at your eye position and you do that instead of the position of event player just so that it lines up with your reticle and then the end position will be an addition of the eye position and you add that to the multiplication of facing direction of and a thousand so it extends forever and then don't really have to mess with any of that and that'll just be wherever you're looking it'll put it right there and then for this I did create an effect right now it's a white sphere with a really small radius just so it's not too big and gaudy but you might want to change its appearance just because being a small white sphere it can easily be blended into a light which would make it kinda hard to notice as the opposing team and then wait a little bit and set the other variable to true so that it knows that there already is a camera because we just created it and then you have the rule to use it so is the button that you're going to be using to look through it held and does a camera exist start camera of event player the eye position will be wherever the variable was set to in the last rule set and it looks at and this would be to do it so that you could look around you could also do a set viewpoint but I think it's a little nicer if you can move the camera a little bit so look at an addition of where it's placed just like up here and just like in the last rule you add that to a multiplication of the facing direction of event player and a thousand just like when we did the raycast so it'll be wherever you're going to be looking and after that I have a quarter second wait and then as long as you're still in this case crouching and the camera still exists it'll loop if not the camera will stop and it'll go back to normal view and then just to create a new camera are you using secondary fire and is there already a camera destroy the last created effect which in this case it's not an issue but if you have other custom abilities where you would have other effects in place you might have to set a variable to the effect and destroy the variable then wait a quarter second and set the variable checking if the camera exists to false and the weight is in there just so that 
all this stuff doesn't activate at the same time and cause any issues. So let's get in, show it off. Come over here, put it right above the door. See there's a little dot now. Start walking away. When I crouch, I have a camera. I can see myself as well as other areas around me. If I use secondary again, it disappears. I can move it somewhere else. And then just because it's going to be facing wherever you are, you'll have to adjust your walking accordingly. But it works pretty reliably. You can just use it as much as you want. And you'll see you can kind of look through some walls. But in terms of spawn rooms, it's not always that easy to see into them. They like to put extra walls on it. Can't really cheese it that way to see the enemy comp. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.